dear students at first today i am going to tell you about the new revised syllabus of english from the book first flight the chapters one of the chapter the misbill the author is deleted and among the poems how to tell white animals and the trees fog and any gregory has been deleted now i am going to begin the chapter 5 the 100 dresses written by l brosister now l brosister was an american children's author a children's librarian her writings were awarded with newbery medal newbery honor and louis carroll self award her books were based on a life in small town this story is a sensitive account of how a poor girl is judged by her classmates wanda petnoski is a young polish girl who goes to school with other american children in an american town the other children see wanda as different in many ways the story raises questions about how we judge people is it wealth money and possessions or is it more enduring values now the main points of the story wanda petnoski was a polish girl who studied in an american town with other american children she was a poor girl who kept to herself and lived in boggy sites wanda was different her name was different and her classmates found it funny Wanda did not have any friends. She sat quietly with the rowdy boys of the class on the back benches. No one knew why except for the fact that a feet were caked with mud and that corner of the class was the dirtiest corner. No one missed her presence in the class. Wanda hardly spoke with anyone in the class. The only time they thought about Wanda was outside of school hours either in the morning or during noon time after school wanda was a source of amusement for peggy and maddy who waited for wanda to have fun with her maddy would ask her how many dresses she had her answer was she had 100 dresses and 60 pairs of shoes of all colors and different they made fun of her because she had only one faded blue dress which she wore to school every day Though Wanda was absent on Monday and Tuesday, but Peggy and Maggie, Maddie missed her only on Wednesday because they had been waiting for her just to have fun, which made them late to school. Maddie wished Peggy would stop teasing Wanda. She too, uh, she too, as poor, though not as poor as Wanda, and also wore other people's handmade hand-me-down clothes. The only difference was was that she did not have a funny name and she did not live in Boggins Heights. She thought of writing a note to Peggy, but she did not do so because she did not wish to be her next target. There was a drawing drawing and coloring contest in the school in which girls had to design dresses and boys motorboats. Maddie was sure Peggy would win the contest because she was the best in drawing when the students entered the class they saw a display of 100 designs of beautiful dresses in all color hanging on the walls miss mason announced that all the girls had submitted one or two designs but wanda had submitted 100 designs and all were different beautiful and exquisite the winner of the medal for boys was john biggles and the winner of the medal among the girls was wanda petnoski unfortunately wanda was not present in the school for some days miss mason wished that she would be present on the next day so this this story consists two parts so next part in the ne- next class till then thank you and have a nice day.